Good morning. We're going to be talking today about the negative G's. G meaning gravity. G's affect uh, pilots, particularly at aircraft, because of tight turning, looping, and all sorts of acrobatics you do. You are all aware of G forces when you go around a corner in your car. You seem to be pulled one way or the other. Or if you uh, uh, get in a roller coaster and go down the big hill, you tend to float. Well, those are negative G's. The positive G's force you into your seat. The negative G's will let you float. For example, they're very useful in an airplane. All you have to do is push the stick forward, this being a stick, and if you had dropped your pencil on the floor, it'll float right up and you just grab it and put it right back in your pocket. So today I want to, uh, to uh, give a demonstration about negative G's particularly and the way they have their effect upon the human body. So there you have a short clip, but I'm going to slow that down a little bit so you can actually see what's going on. And, and keep an eye on, if you would, the stick. The stick that's going to be pushed forward. This is not a fighter aircraft cockpit we're looking at, but it's a uh, aerobatic light airplane in any event. But uh, you may have not have noticed the clip, uh, the first clip. Uh, but this is slowed down, so you keep your close eye right on that stick and see what's going to happen. Well there, that should give you a much better idea of the effect of negative G's on the human body. Uh, stay tuned for next time, we'll have another segment coming up, and I think I'm going to get a little more technical next time about transonic flight, that part of the flight when you go from being under the speed of sound and going through the speed of sound, its effects on the airfoil. Until, until then, keep an eye on Captain Sheets' College of Aeronautical Knowledge.